I'm Michael from Universal Skills Group. Uh, today's Knowledge Hub is we're going to be looking at some okay, complete and incomplete combustion on this cooker. This video uh, shows work only to be carried out by a qualified gas engineer or somebody supervised as part of their training. It's essential when we're checking uh, appliances, especially up, uh, flueless appliances in customers' homes, that we check the flame picture on every ring and throughout the entire appliance. What we're looking for is a lovely crisp blue flame. As you're looking around the edge of there, you've got a nice, well-defined cones. There's no impingement on the heat exchanger coming through. And you can see there, that's a, a really good flame. If we try another one. So as you can see there, this is a horrible floppy yellow flame. This is what we call incomplete combustion. You can have over time this is going to cause a build up of fumes in the customer's home uh, and potentially cause a threat to life uh, quite often by taking that removing that and cleaning it will will sort the problem out but if it doesn't unfortunately this appliance would have to be deemed immediately dangerous and capped off at the mains gas supply coming in so after we've had a customer attempt to clean this uh, ring and make it Make, make the situation better. We can see it's clean inside of the burner. There's no issues inside there at all. So therefore there must be an issue further within the appliance. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cap this off now. Now some of the, some of the stuff we're going to use is down here. We have some gas paste, a uh, male iron plug, and some leak detection fluid. Uh, but we will still have to put a tightness test on both before and after uh, carrying out the work. So having eased this uh, appliance out of the way uh, so we can gain access to the, to the pipe work. These old burner fittings are quite, quite straightforward. We're pushing in, taking the tension off the fitting. We've turned that a quarter turn well, anti-clockwise and the, the hose is clear. But as we're classifying this appliance as immediately dangerous, it would also be worth while uh, removing the flexible hose from the cooker as well to stop any customers coming in there and trying to reconnect their own appliances. I have already done a tightness test to prove the rest of the insulation is tight. So this is the fitting we're going to be removing completely. To do so, I'm going to hold tight with a pair of grips on this fitting to stop it disturbing any other fitting within the vicinity. And then with an adjustable spanner on the flat edge, we're going to just slacken that fitting out. with style. So inside of here, you can see there's a thread. Uh, th it's essential that we put something in there to stop it being metal on metal. If you looked at the cap, it's just a metal thread, which we call a tapered thread. So the tighter that, fit, the tighter that goes into the, to the fitting on the wall, the better the seal that will be, but it will also need some joint and compound on there. It's not the nicest job, but it is the safest way of doing it. So with that pasted up, I'm going to tighten that all the way home. And again, using grips to hold the fit and tight. An adjustable spanner to tighten that all the way home. Once that's nice and tight, you're going to remove the excess paste from the fitting. and carry out a second tightness test to prove what we're, anything we've touched is, is now tight as well as the rest of the installation. After the test, it's good practice to go around those fittings with some LDF. 
We're brushing that on there to try and get quite a good lather. If there was any leaks, it would, it would show us a bubble. Large bubbles, not the stuff that's showing there now. Once we're happy with that, and we've purged and relit and all the other appliances left in the property, we will need to apply a do not use sticker, which is an industry sticker, telling us that this appliance is not suitable for use anymore. And fill out a warning notice, which you can keep a copy of, and a, the customer will get a copy of it. It will require their signature as well, uh, as, you, as it, this is the customer's property uh, that you're capping off. This was a uh, capping off uh, cooker at the bayonet. Uh, correctly identifying an unsafe situation for incomplete combustion. Leaving correct warning notice and labelling. I'm Mike from Universal Skills Group. This was Knowledge Hub. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.